Elizabeth Olsen and husband Robbie Arnett complimented each other's style beautifully during a stroll in New York City. Over the weekend they stepped out in full ready looks, complete with matching brown jackets and round sunglasses. The twosome, 33 and 30, locked arms while enjoying his and hers coffees. For her part, the Avengers star layered her outerwear over a bright red sweater and oversized white shirt combo. She looked effortlessly cool, adding a pair of straight leg light wash jeans with frayed hems. The look was tied together with a pair of brown leather boots and she pulled her luscious locks into an imperfect bun. Underneath her dark lenses she had on a full face of glamorous makeup, highlighting her high cheekbones with rouge blush. Robbie's outfit was equal parts casual and cool as he donned a white crewneck t-shirt under his outer layer. The musician, who's part of the independent band Milo Green, added a pair of khaki-colored trousers that cropped at his ankle. He teamed them with a pair of white trainers and rocked a full beard and an orange baseball cap. Elizabeth and Robbie tied the knot in a secret 2020 ceremony during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. Olsen, whose sister to twins Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, recently revealed she thought she was going to drop dead after suffering her first panic attack. Speaking to Variety she admitted, I didn't understand what anxiety or a panic attack was until I was 21. I remember I would get them on the hour every hour. I used to live on 13th Street between 6th and 7. I was crossing 6th Avenue at 14th Street, and I realized I couldn't cross the street, I stood up against the wall, and I just thought I was going to drop dead at any moment, she explained. If I went from cold to hot, hot to cold, full to hungry, hungry to full, any kind of shift in my body, my whole body thought, uh-oh, something's wrong. She went on, and I just started spiraling. It was so weird. A ENT doctor said that it could be vertigo related because it was all about truly spinning. So it was an interesting six months. The WandaVision star revealed she was put in touch with a professional who taught her some brain games to help her focus. She explained, that was a helpful tool. It just became a practice that got me out of it, 